Do you think that this is a suspicious fish? Oh, definitely. You know there's a law where it's illegal to handle a salmon suspiciously. The Salmon Act 1986 was amended in 2009 and now refers not only to salmon, but also trout, eels, lampreys, smelt and freshwater fish. I've got the salmon, now I have to act suspiciously with it. The Act actually defines handling fish in suspicious circumstances as when someone handles a fish, i.e. receives, disposes of it, etc., at a time when he believes or it would be reasonable for him to suspect that a relevant offence has at any time been committed in relation to it. An example would be buying salmon you know or suspect to be stolen or caught illegally. So acting generally shifty with a salmon you bought completely legally does not constitute handling it in suspicious circumstances. Apparently it's illegal to gamble in a library. It is in fact completely legal to bet and gamble in a library. The section of the Libraries Offences Act 1898 making it illegal was repealed in 2005. I'm going to walk right into that building there in a suit of armour. Something that apparently you're supposed to get your head cut off for. Whilst it is illegal to bear armour in Parliament, nowhere in the statute does it say that doing so shall be punishable by beheading specifically. In fact, capital punishment has long since been completely abolished in Britain. The statute in question here is not referred to as the Parliament Act. A statute forbidding the bearing of armour is actually its modern English title as given by legislation.gov. You've got a bit of a sword, have you? No, no, <laughs> no it's plastic. plastic. The specific wording of the statute forbidding the bearing of armour 1313 states that people shall come to Parliament without all force and armour. So I doubt that wearing obviously fake armour would count as coming with all force and armour. You can't check out a dirty rug in public. The Metropolitan Police Act does indeed prohibit shaking rugs in any thoroughfare, but the before 8am exception extends only to doormats. And also can't wear an outrageous double ruff. This offence was created by an Elizabethan sumptuary law, most of which were repealed by James I, so it's highly unlikely to still be in force. Or be suckless within 100 yards of the Queen. This law is entirely apocryphal, and to my knowledge, no act has ever made an offence like this. Even if one did exist, it was probably a sumptuary law, and thus also most likely repealed by James I. And that's all for this All the Inaccuracies mini-sode. Hope you enjoyed my extreme pedantry, and I'll see you all next time. Ta-ta!